Christmas at Melrose by Leslie Pinckney Hill, read for LibriVox.org by Doug Anderson. Come home with me a little space and browse about our ancient place. Lay by your wanted troubles here and have a turn of Christmas cheer. These sober walls of weathered stone can tell a romance of their own, and these wide rooms of devious line are kindly meant in their design. Sometimes the north wind searches through, but he shall not be rude to you. We'll light a log of generous girth for winter comfort, and the mirth of healthy children you shall see about the sparkling Christmas tree. Eleanor, leader of the fold, Hermione with heart of gold, Elaine with comprehending eyes, and two more yet of coddling size, Natalie pondering all that's said, and Mary with the cherub's head. All these shall give you sweet content and care-destroying merriment, while one with true Madonna grace moves round the glowing fireplace where Father loves to muse aside, and Grandma sits in silent pride. And you may chafe the wasting oak, or freely pass the kindly joke to mix with nuts and home-made cake and apples set on coals to bake. Or some fine carol we will sing in honor of the manger king, Or hear great Milton's organ verse, Or Plato's dialogue rehearse what Socrates with his last breath Sublimely said of life and death. These dear delights we fain would share with friend and kinsman everywhere, And from our door see them depart, each with a little lighter heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.